Hello, I'm Coach Matt Painter, and today we are going to talk about reading a down screen. It's very, very important in down screens that three things work for you, all right? Three things are very, very important here. You have your passer, all right? Our passer is going to be the guy over here with the basketball, all right? Our screener is going to be Sam up top, um, on top of the key, all right? And our cutter is going to be JR right here on the wing. And what we're looking for here, we have it set up where we have a good angle. Sometimes in a motion offense when there's down screens, you don't have a good angle. You got to either create a good angle or get into some different action. Right here, we have the perfect setup. There's two different things that we can do in this down screen in terms of this guy on the wing, all right? If he was in the corner, we wouldn't talk to him about setting his cut up. We would talk to him about just making a sprint cut because there's no place for him to set his man up when he's in that coffin corner down there, all right? But the spacing, the timing works perfectly if he takes off as soon as Sam is ready to come down. We're gonna talk about this to start with from the wing. Since it's on the wing, he needs to set his man up. So what JR is gonna do, Jordan will come up here and guard him, all right? Sam's getting ready to come screen. Before Sam can take off, JR wants to set his man up. We really talk about taking him down. While he's going down, we don't want to come in. Remember, the ball's on the opposite wing. Now, we have him getting tight to his man, and this could be a drive over here. All right, so now we've opened this up. Jordan wants to come all the way closer to the ball. Sam's got to be able to find him. Sam is not screening an area. Sam is screening a body, so it's important that Sam is locking in on this down screen on the defender. So when we go to screen for JR, it has nothing to do with JR, it has to do with Jordan. We want to look and lock into Jordan coming off this screen. While he's taking him down, Sam's coming down. So now, when JR takes to come off this down screen and he's coming off this, we want that timing to be perfect. Right off this elbow would be great. So here comes JR. The first read that we're gonna have here is all dictated on what Jordan does. JR is going to do the same thing no matter what until the level of the screen, okay? So in his mind, he goes from the wing to the base to this point of being level on this screen and doing the same thing no matter what Jordan does, all right? Unless Jordan has jumped him early and got on top of him early and tried to fight this, JR would take this resistance and then just back cut to the rim, all right? But that's not happening here. Okay, so JR is going to keep going cutting. We're going to do a straight cut to start with because Jordan runs into the screen. So JR goes, he gets a straight cut, Jordan runs into the screen. Now he has that option. Okay, hold right there. We have a thing we talk about, it's called second action. All right, two different things on our second action off of our straight cut. That was our straight cut because Jordan ran into the screen. JR read it perfectly. Now, two different things as Jordan continues on to take JR coming off the straight cut. He can get away on the second action and get spacing. What this allows is JR to drive the basketball from this point. All right, this allows for JR to re reverse the basketball and then hit Sam. Okay, now we get into the second action. Now JR goes to the next action after coming off his straight cut and reversing the basketball. The other second action, Sam comes back up here, JR comes off this straight cut, is Sam just going straight to the rim. Going straight to the rim, trying to get the ball from JR. Okay? So that's the first read that we have. Why don't we go back here, guys, real quick. Sam, just get back to the elbow. You already started up top, you're here. Now we set our man up again, just like we did before. Now Jordan's gonna stay tight. He's gonna hook onto him and stay tight with JR, and he's gonna get behind him, all right? And then he's going to trail him off that screen. Right away, JR knows he's doing the same thing until the level of the screen. Jordan could be faking him out and then slipping it, but he stays tight. He curl cuts right to the rim. We take that curl cut to the rim. We don't need a curl cut to the opposite corner. When that happens, Sam knows that he's raising and getting this catch right here. Now Sam's the second action. Sam can have a jump shot. Sam can have a drive depending on who Sam is and what he can do and what you have on your team. Each guy's different in terms of their strengths and weaknesses. So now, let's get to our third choice here on the down screen and come back. We've got our straight cut, all right? Remember the first one. The second one, we had our curl cut, all right? Jordan had to stay tight. Now we're going to our back cut. This is all determined. 
JR is doing the same thing again, but as soon as he feels that resistance and Jordan getting on top of him, all right, both of these guys got to make this read. Sam's read is going to be off of JR. All right, so here we go. He takes off, he gets on top of him, he goes, as soon as he gets that back cut, he gets that resistance. Now, Sam, you come right back to the basketball. Don't turn your back there, Sam. Sam comes in here. Very important, we understand this. The ball's over here. It's all in relationship to the basketball. He made the back cut, he went to the rim. There he is, boom. He goes to the rim. When that happens, Sam's coming right back to the ball at the same time, all right? And it's reading the screen, it's two people involved. There's a lot of things that can happen there. There could be some switching, there could be a big on little, it could be a little on big. These guys can be interchangeable, all right? So you can invert your stuff. It's actually fun to play with because now you get a big guy having to come off a screen, you got a little guy showing on a screen and they're not as familiar. Um, with that type of action, it just depends. You can get mismatches because of switches, but it leads to the second action, and it leads to the ball handler seeing the action. A lot of drill work here, a lot of simplicity, but it's very, very fun. But in closing, make sure they understand, get to the level of the screen each time and go hard. All right, you talk about cutting, it's not as much cutting. Cutting's changing direction, it's sprinting. All right, setting your man up, sprinting to the baseline, seeing the basketball, because a lot of things can happen. What we're set up and what we're talking about right here might not happen. That guy could drive and dribble and do some different things, and now you see it, now you can just play the game. All right, but make sure you understand that you don't tiptoe and dance around. You make sprinting type of cuts, all right, coming off there for the straight cut, for the curl cut, for the back cut, always looking to score. And it's amazing, the guy who's cutting, when he cuts the score, that screener is going to get open a lot of times. You help your partner out there. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of Reading the Down Screen.